I do not live in hope. I work to return it. Welcome back. You won't be here long. There we go. I mean, I want to take an Nimbus cloak. Oh wait, I almost forgot something. Movement speed. Get over. Actually, let me try this without Nimbus cloak. See how it feels against rocks. I'm sad, but it's fine. You started Q? He's the heat is gonna be annoying. He just looking to stack up his uh grasp. I'm not even gonna walk up, bro. Fuck that. This wave shouldn't shove into him too heavily, so I just have to wait. I do understand people that say they don't like to play York top though, because you're counterpicked either every time or you're too weak early to beat somebody that doesn't specifically counter you, but they're just stronger. Like last game I was fighting Camille. And that wasn't that wasn't fun. He doesn't counter me, but if she gets a lead at the beginning because of her strength, he took a tower shot, took it. Then yeah. It's kinda cooked at that point. <laughs> Alright, I'll hold this here now. For as long as I can. Probably won't even hold that long, to be honest. I must dig. You got a long sword, fair enough. <laughs> Let's see if I run out of mana or not, because I'm a big enjoyer of corruption pot, and that item is gone. Okay. Activated my track card. No I can't reach. Good trade though. But his E is back. Right was legendary. I'm afraid I could get a kill to be honest. Shit. I missed my E too. I just have to raise my pets and hope I hit level 5. I'm just gonna attempt to keep my distance. I should hit level 5 after this minion though. Okay, I have a bit more. Bless. Jungle is Poppy. Udyr is giving Poppy back shots. Love to see it. Now, if he jumps me, I got nothing. I just gotta walk back straight. Shit, I did my game. Now he can't beat me in that. I thought he would do something more effective. He did not. All right, we leave. Not good, but it's better than nothing. We didn't get killed. That's all I care about. Is it? This isn't too bad. Usually, I wouldn't even have the mana to stay, and I would just have to leave. I do this mostly for top. You can do it for jungle if you want, but uh, I put three points into my wall in lane against most people that have no dashes or that have one dash so when Jax jumps me i wall him and then he's stuck in there for three auto attacks so even if he uses his uh auto attack reset on the wall for attack speed he's still stuck for an extra second so he doesn't get to like stun me hit, hit me with auto attack then run away so he just stuck. And because now I'm l level 6, if he jumps on me and I trap him and then I have Maiden out, he just has to flash out and then it's not a counter pick anymore. Unless he gets ahead and I lose half my HP instantly. But yeah. I am you. Doo -doo -doo. Gotta make him jump though. If he doesn't jump, it doesn't really work. He has to ward off. <laughs> I'm gonna keep walking forward. Just did one more E. Nice. 
Oh, made him back all the way. This E is coming back. Just gotta walk. I can't, even, I can't really pull her. Flash. Okay. That's what you get for being made on this, I guess. Now we take a plate. Gonna take the cannon too, actually. Ah! Maiden is gone. Oh, he out with a maiden, get shit on. She lives. Bless. He literally auto attacked the maiden. I saw his auto. <laughs> That's funny. The best part about this strategy specifically is that, uh, let Maiden heal a bit more. Since usually when somebody picks Jax into Yorick, they don't really main Jax, so how effective and aggressive and good they will be on him against Yorick is, it varies, so if they suck, you can take advantage of it way more than if they're really good. And even if they're really good, sometimes they catch on and they just low-key stop playing the matchup and you can do a little bit of what you just want to do. At least this is why I don't ban Jax, because I can get away with it. Gotcha, bitch. You have to either jump on a minion and go back, or he just dies. And he just dies. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I was gonna wall them because I knew they were there. That's chasing Poppy. Okay. I was hoping the grubs would spawn again. Come back, maiden. I carry them so Wanna see something really that diabolical? Since Maiden copies where you're standing, but in the opposite way, if you turn your back, she can just auto attack somebody on the tower. <laughs> but you gotta make sure that the closest unit is a, is a champion. Otherwise, uh, we do need red and water. I need water after this. You gotta make sure that the closest thing she hits is a champion. Otherwise, she's just gonna hit a minion. So I do it just again. She's gonna auto attack Jax. The tower will hit her, but if you walk away, the tower will just de-aggro. It's easier to do against the ranged ones, because you know how like, you see us in the tower, and a ranged character will just walk up and auto attack you? You can do the same with the Maiden, if you play around with it. And since I have uh, Scorch and Comet, off her auto attack, she can apply that. So I can just, whoops, I flick my E. Heck, I can just keep them under tower permanently. And if I hit the tower, Maiden will keep hitting the tower, so I just need to hold her at the range. And once the minions die, I can pull her back. Now the enemy could attack Maiden, but they want to see us. So that's where the good compromise comes in. I'm also ahead, so he's likely to not to do much. He's dead already, I just need to walk away. Okay, he should be dead, the fuck? My gosh, I'm so lucky. The tower, but I'm happy that just worked out. It's we it's we easier to abuse Maiden's range and Comet and Scorch. When you're ahead, if you're not ahead, they can just kill Maiden. Like a really good Jax when I'm in higher elo, they will just they will just jump and E the Maiden. And depending how ahead they are or how even we are, they can just I bought a second pink, report me. That sucks. They can just kill her before I can do anything. But I got a lead, so I'm just using it. If you land E, don't turn your back, because Maiden will then walk up close. And you don't want to reposition Maiden all the time. So just keep the same position, facing forward. Bro, we almost got fucked. 
because there was no minions for him to jump to there. A uh, mosquito keeps flying in my face. Get away from me. This is good though. My Ignite will be back in a minute, so in a minute if nobody comes up here, we're eating good. Kill more minions, more things jump. He will always have counter strike, so I can't really dive him until he uses it. Once a cannon wave comes, we get horny. Nice cannon wave. We get horny for the gear bit to close now. He has to use counter strike to live. Your word hop is late. <laughs> but we get horny at a cannon wave because if the enemy dies, the cannon is tanking the tower. So your pets get actually to hit the tower for free. Usually if the cannon is not there, the tower will hit the ghouls and they die before they get to deal damage. So yeah, it's great. Now we go to a grift. Mm -mm -mm. What? what the fuck? It'd be like that. Wouldn't let that shit happen to me though. All oh, rift is up and down. <laughs> that feels like it was a bit uh racially motivated if you ask me. Black man shows up to take rift They're like nope. We gotta go. Lovely. I got a recall, but I'm being greedy. Hey, my bad. How greedy can I be? I'll be too greedy. I'm gonna save for one more wave. I'm gonna flash. No. Okay. He didn't even get the stun off. Nice, we got enough for Eclipse now too. I'm gonna put a ward here because I'm pretty sure Vagar and Poppy will come. When they arrive, I'll just wall up, wall up this entrance and they can come fuck with me. They should arrive. Okay, they don't. They're, they're not coming. Hey, we eating good then. <laughs> of course he's not. <laughs> he's gonna be like, OP.G lied to me. Jack does not counter Yorick. <laughs> Doesn't counter me specifically. Still a counter pick. Now then... Yeah, I just go with this. One magic mantle. And... Now what? I feel like I took too much of the map. Mm. I'm gonna go give so bot lane a present. So few and just go back top. Maybe I go mid since she's low. And until Jax appears here, I'm not gonna go back. Oh, hello there! Chickens! I mean, I was stuck, bro. Like, what do you want me to do? You want me to walk into the stun? <laughs> Unless it did look like BM from his perspective. Or my mid is walking top, so I can just go here. Huh? Hello? Why are you guys just watching that? <laughs> Fight her. <laughs> I didn't give my bot lane instructions. I should have told them just fight with Maiden. But I guess they are weak and low, so. Alright. We go bottom now. Oh my. I'm on bottom now. I like to go Abyssal Mask into Jax because he actually, if you look at the depth 
Recap, when he kills you, he takes a lot of, uh, you take a lot of magic damage from him. And since Maiden deals magic damage, you lower his magic resist, so Maiden gets to deal more damage. It's not completely that bad on York, if at all. I can also just buy Leandro if I want to, so. I do have a bounty, and I don't know if I can fight Kaisa with a Yumi. But exhaust and ignite. But that's the only thing I'm kind of afraid of. Them dickheads are mobile. Doesn't matter how ahead I am. If I cannot get on top of them, I can't do much. <laughs> All right, we rifted. I don't care about Jack taking that tower. And I shouldn't get one shot by Vagar if he comes down here to hold. But he just all randomly. Ooh, I hit the E. Bless. Look at the beautiful tuck. What the dog doing? Because I took aggro, the tower stopped focusing the rift. Movement speed. Come back, Maiden. Don't get yourself killed now. Thank God for that, Caitlyn ult. I was just gonna kite away and hope for the cleaver and the cliffs to do the work. that next i'm gonna take the krug so i don't have to build up my graves again then we end the game whoops since we're so ahead i may just get uh leandris now instead big good Sucks. We just wait for her. Uh, I need to sell something. I'll just sell the bunk. I guess we wait for him to respawn. In the meantime, I guess we just do blue. They can do Baron because their jungle died too. We'll jump to the moon. I did not actually. <laughs> That one jump really high. Hey Draxer, how you doing? My bad. Missed your message. I want to release Maiden Bottom, but Vagar can just wall her. So if I'm gonna do that, I have to do it with a wave. So he has to focus them separately. Udyr is back, we can just fight, and we should be able to win. My pets will apply Leandre, so... I don't have Maiden, but we still have constant burn onto them. I'm just holding them off. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Nice. Ah, I got stunned. I was gonna throw... Whatchamacallit at him. I'm gonna TP back bottom and we end it. Meet Maiden. Grab this. And we end. I got the elixir of sorcery. Mostly because. Hey, Poppy. 
because it'll deal more damage to objectives or structures. But GG, that's why I never ban Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. You know what the funny thing is? Yesterday, not yesterday, tomorrow I was gonna make a Yorick versus Jax video on why I don't ever ban him. <laughs> and then I was explaining the matchup in this video or did this game and it was an it was an even bigger stomp. <laughs> so it's kinda of better than the one I was gonna make. <laughs> That's funny. Damn. We got our bitch ass back to diamond too. Bless. Bless. We did the most damage as well. The build sense. looks fucking cursed though, but I go walking for the living, shuffle for the dead.